Hey there, Walt here from Walt NPA, back with another Road Spotlight video. You know, when I originally started this series, I wasn't intending on doing one of these talking head videos to, to start each one, but, you know, ever since I did the first one, and I just kind of leapt into the second video without any kind of introduction, so this just kind of feels right. So, for the second Road Spotlight, we're looking at another road in Berks County. It's actually not far at all from home. And it, it's amazing that I've been through this area hundreds of times over the years and I never realized that this cool little road exists. It's called Fancy Hill Road and it was discovered by Steve. A few, few days ago he sent me a message saying like, hey, I found the next road for you to feature in your Road Spotlight series. It's, it's this awesome road, goes up a mountain, lots of twists. And I thought, wow, this is great, I'm, I'm in. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get out and ride right away. We had to wait a few days for my schedule to clear up. But he sent me the rever route for it, or uh, the rever map from one end to the other. And it kind of blew me away that I had never been down this road before. In all the years that I've been going through the area, passing by this road, I had just never been down it. So we hopped on the bikes, we rode out to, I think it's like Powder Mill Road, took that out to Fancy Hill Road. And from there, it was like six miles of twists and turns up a mountain through some wooded areas. Then we, you know, we crested the hill and immediately started coming back down with more twists and turns. From there, it opened up into like some farmland. There was some uh, fields. I, I remember passing some goats at one point. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was a really cool little road. Uh, just tuck, tucked away here in, in the Boyertown, Boyertown area of Southeast Pennsylvania. So, check it out. You know what, before, actually I lied. Before we get to the road spotlight, uh, I think it's important to put credit where credit's due. So I had mentioned before that this whole road spotlight idea came from a video I watched from Moto Mengi. And uh, just seeing his videos, they were a lot of fun. I wanted to, to jump in there and get some of these videos done myself. So I posted the very first one, and I believe Chopper Fett was the very first comment I got on that video shortly after it was released. And he said, you know, he really enjoyed the video series, but it would be really cool if I could incorporate some sort of GPS data, like a map or, you know, something just to show where I was going and, and the route. And prior to recording that video, I was all over that. I was researching it. I was trying to find a good way to do it. Um, I signed up for a Google Earth Studio account um, which, it's a pretty cool platform. It lets you use Google Earth, but it allows you to place cameras and viewpoints so you can manipulate the map and make it move and do cool things. So what I envisioned doing was like zooming in on the location and then moving the camera and kind of following the route so that you could see kind of what was going on. Only it didn't quite work out like I had hoped. Um, I think I did a couple of screenshots or a couple of little videos in the beginning and then that was pretty much the end of it. But um, when Chopper Fett made that comment, it reminded me that there is, there's a GoPro app that allows you to put overlays on, on your video. It pulls the GPS data that the camera picks up from GPS satellites. And GoPro discontinued the desktop app of this. and. When I, re when I realized that, it kind of killed the idea for me because it seemed like a lot of work to pull the, pull the video footage from the camera, put it on my iPad, add the overlays in the GoPro mobile app, and then re-output the video so that I could import it into DaVinci Resolve. It just, it, it seemed like an awful lot of work for this little thing. But, you know, going down the rabbit hole, I found another solution, and the end result, it's a lot of data, but it's pretty cool seeing how everything came together. So all these little gadgets and gauges you're seeing on the screen are completely uh, due to Chopper Fett's comment. So Brett, thank you very much for uh, inspiring me to spend more money than I wanted to and uh, spend more time than I wanted to on these videos. Now, here's the Fancy Hill Road video.
elevation change through here. to a different road. Yeah, the way you described it, it sounded like we were just going to be climbing a mountain all one way, but it looks like we went up one side and now we're going back down the other. couple deer back there. There were a couple deer back there. Little deer, they were fawns. Mixed in with the goats. I like so much about that one road that goes out through Kutztown. You know, you wind through the woods and then it opens up into big fields. It's funny, we're not far from home and I have no idea where we are. <laughs> 